lesson uh, 5.7, video B, we're going to start off with the story problem. And it's the Kumi swam, and it's going to be one and two fourths lengths of a pool this morning, and one and one fourth lengths of a pool this afternoon. How many lengths did he swim today? Now, boys and girls, we're just going to let that thing hang in the air, hang in the air as we sit and we talk about other things. Because when we talk about adding fractions, and we talk about adding especially mixed number and improper fractions, which is exactly what we have going on here, mixed numbers, we want to we want to make some sort of comparison. So what I'm going to compare it to somewhat is when you add money. So let's say you have and I'm going to do my best here. This, let's change a color here so we're the right color. You have this. And then you have 25 cents. 25 cents. Okay. So you have that, and your friend has this. And and together you want to see if you have enough to buy a candy bar, which a Twix bar that costs two dollars and fifty cents, or whatever it might be. I don't care. That's not important. What's important is how we figure out this problem. Now, when we look at this problem. Essentially what we have is we have a dollar fifty plus a dollar seventy five. But we can look at this as a fraction and we can say this is a dollar and two fourths because a quarter is two fourths of a dollar, I mean a one fourth of a dollar, plus a dollar and three quarters. Does that make sense how we did that? We have one and fifty. 1 and 75, or 1 and 2 out of 4, because 4 quarters in a, in a dollar, and 1 and 3 quarters, all right? Now, how do we add those up? Well, initially what we could do is we could just put all of our drawings together. So I'm going to take this right here, and I wish I could just take this whole thing, but unfortunately I'm just going to take these and I'm going to draw, pull them over here, and I'm just going to redraw them just because I want to. Now, what do I have here? Well, I have one, oops, I'll just go to white here, one, two, three, four, five. I have five quarters. So I would have one plus one is two and five quarters. Or, if I want, and I should, I'm gonna take these four, let me find a new color here, let me take these four right here, and what am I going to do with that? With that, Well, I'm going to convert it to 1, which is going to be 2 and plus 4 over 4 plus 1 fourth is equal to 2 plus 4 over 4. Remember, 4 over 4, any number over itself is going to be 1. So it's going to be 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 fourth. Okay, just like here, how many fours in five? Let's switch that. How many fours in five? One. So I'm going to add, take that one and bring it to here, bring that over there, so it's going to be three and one fourth. All right, so that's how we would do that problem. That's a normal way. That's a lot if we were to do this as a decimal, because what is this? Well, this is one point five plus one point seven five. If we add them together, zero, adding, five, twelve, carry the one, three, bring line up my decimal point right here, three twenty five. That's the same. Now ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna find out is fractions, fractions, and decimals are really closely related. And the, as soon as we see them as related, related, the easier this is going to be for us as we make those connections. So now, my question is, I'm going to slide that down, how do we talk about Takumi and his swimming? 
Okay, so Takumi, oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that one. There we go. Takumi swam one and four, two force lengths of the pool. Now, I'm going to do it a different way here. This is the pool. Okay, so this is Takumi right now. Hi, I'm swimming. And he swims all the way down. That's one. Oh, I should probably section this off into half, quarter, quarter. Okay, so that's, and let's change to Kumi so he's swimming a different color, not the same as the pool. So that's one, and then he turned around, and then he, oops, I should make that a different line. He came back here. Okay, now this afternoon, he swims one and one quarter. So he's going to jump in right at half. He's going to go down. Oops. That's half. And then back. That's one. And now he's going to go that quarter, which is right here. So how far did he go? Now, unfortunately, my drawing's kind of messed up. But you see he went one, two, two, and three quarters. So what he his swimming was two and three quarter lap, which, or two quarter, three quarter lengths, or one and two fourths plus one and, whoops, one and one fourth. We're going to add these together, fractions together. Two plus one is three. Our language is four. And then we add our whole numbers, which would be two. All right. So that's kind of different ways of looking at this problem. Next video, we're going to look, just look at um, another way of looking at the problem, and then we'll be ready for uh, some practice.